G'day. This is a potato plant and I made it out of seed. So this is about two weeks old. All of these are about two weeks old and I made my own seed and I'll show you how to do it. It's pretty easy actually. You don't have to do much at all. It's merely a mistake to do it. It's that easy. So don't buy it. Just try it your own. So how does he do it? So how I make these, or not make them, but how I get to this stage is a few different types. Looking quite good. Won't pull them out yet, but they sit in the container just in there. So it's you want to maintain a night a cooler temperature. Something that we'd have jumpers on or wear a sweater on. And it sits in there with a little bit of sunlight going through, so the sunlight's just enough to produce chlorophyll to get it that green action and know that it should be producing shoots. And then if I left it too long, it'd keep growing and start and, and produce leaves. This is another way. See, it's just sitting, this is all potatoes, just sitting in the bag. And they've started to do it themselves because the temperature was right. So you need three things for a seed to start and germinate and produce you need the air temperature and water moisture so it must have the right condition to it wants so yeah that's just another way and the reason why you might do that is because it speeds the process up because if i go and plant that it's already got a little shoot now which would start and go up but if i was just to plant the potato itself in the ground it'll take a few days or even weeks under the right condition where this might rot out so by doing it this way you eliminate the chances for it to rot do you want to see me plant them all right I know. So I've done, dug my hole about that size I've gone and filled it with some green manure just get some uh, nice nitrogen rich green shoots with no seed in it place it as a bedding then I want these shoots. They've already been given a signal to start growing as a shoot when they've gone through their undifferentiated process in their cell production. So if you, I want that to stay above the ground. It doesn't matter if they stay under it, these ones, because they'll come up in a few days. But these one I've already planted. It's just underneath there. So now I'll go and put this get the dirt out of that and fill it up nicely just so that's a little bit above the surface there you go and nicely watered in I use the water actually to help get all the dirt I said dirt it's not real soil here it's nutrient deficient so it's uh yeah it needs a lot of work done but I should, I should use the word soil but it's not really soil and if your potatoes get a bit green you shouldn't eat them because it's cancer causing substance in them but they're still fine to grow because they're a seed uh, starts they grow starch and then they produce the amylase to break it down into the glucose to give it the nitrogen to give it to the um, ATP so they can get the energy out of it so it's all fine for it to produce for another plant but not for us so that's Dutch cream's going to get actually planted and they say also you can divide them up, you can cut it up and just use this as one plant. There's one plant there, one plant there, one there, there. You can, but there's a chance that it's going to shrivel up. So if you do that, you've got to stay on top of it with watering to make sure that um, it's sufficient enough to use it as an energy source for it to start producing a plant. Uh, that's about all. Hope it helps you. Have some chiting fun. Happy growing. See you later. Have a good day.